Hey guys, in this lesson we are going to export our animation directly from Cinema 4D. In my case, I've set up the scene so it goes from the frame 0 to frame 90. First, open the render settings and go to output. Let's change the width and the height back to 1000 so it is a square format. The frame rate will be 30. We are going to render the animation from the frame 0 to the frame 90. So let's type in 0 and 90. That's it. Now we have to choose where to save the render. So under the regular image tab, you'll see an option called File. Click on the button with the ellipses. I created a folder called Final Render beforehand. I will name the render Hot Dog, and now we have established where the render will be saved. Now, we have to choose the format. There are mainly four formats. The first one is very common for, for testing short animations and video, and it's called QuickTime. The next one is Targa, T-R-R-G-A. Next, we have PNG. And the last one is OpenEXR. This format supports HDR, so we can generate good contrast in our projects. It's mainly used for movies and TV. In this case, as this is a very short animation with only 90 frames, I'm going to use QuickTime. Here is the alpha channel. We don't have anything that will require an alpha channel, but if you need a render, a render with it, just check the box. I'm going to check it anyways. Let's go to the multipass and let's set it up. These are objects or maps that are needed later on for past production. In this case, we are going to choose machine vector. And we are going to see in After Effects what is this for. So go to the anti-aliasing now and choose the geometry option so that the render doesn't take too long. After this, we'll need to activate again the global illumination. So go to Effect, Global Illumination. There's a great preset that comes in handy for our project. We have our scene illuminated by a physical sky. So let's select exterior physical sky. And we'll have the settings automatically adjusted. Now go back to save and we'll set up the multipass image in the QuickTime movie format. Copy this directory by pressing Ctrl-C and paste it here. It won't replace our document because it will be called Motion Vector. And of course, choose the QuickTime format. Perfect. So we have the size already set up and we've decided where the render will be saved, as well as the multipass image. Here you can see what multipass we have chosen. Don't worry about pass effects, it always shows up automatically. The one we chose is motion vector. Finally, we also set up our global illumination with this preset and we left the anti-aliasing in geometry. This is all we need. Now, click on the second button. Render to picture viewer. Then just wait until the render is done. Remember that each frame will take between 10 seconds and 1 minute. 
depending on what's on the scene. For example, in this case, it's taking 9 seconds because there's nothing on the scene. If the frame is more complex, it will take longer, so you will have to wait. In the, vid in the next video, we are going to see how to do some post-production to the scene using After Effects. So guys, see you there!